Welcome to Everyday First Class. In this video, we're talking about a trip to the North Carolina mountains to the town of Blowing Rock. Welcome to Everyday First Class. I'm Joanna, and on this channel, we are working to help you make your life better every day. Today we're talking about a trip that I recently took to the North Carolina mountains to the town of Blowing Rock. I was there with my sister and my five-year-old son and just wanted to highlight a few places there that we visited that I think make it worth going if a trip to the mountains of North Carolina is anywhere in your near future. So I'm going to talk about a couple of restaurants and a couple of attractions. The first restaurant we went to was the Blowing Rock Ale House. It was past 1.30, probably almost 2 o'clock by the time we got there, and it was on a holiday weekend and there was still a wait for a table. But they made the wait accommodating, there was some outdoor seating, it wasn't too bad. We got seated and all three of us in the party, the three adults, all got the surf and turf steak and shrimp. I felt that my steak was a little overcooked, so I sent it back, they were very accommodating, Got it fixed up, sent it right back, no problem. The steak that came back was perfectly cooked and absolutely delicious. I swapped out the sides that came with it, um, broccoli and mashed potatoes for the romaine, the, the grilled romaine salad, and it was delicious, but I felt that the portion on that was pretty small. But overall, it was a great restaurant. Not exactly kid-friendly, but they did have a kid's menu, and my five-year-old son really enjoyed his hot dog. So, oh, also my sister and brother-in-law are big fans of the duck legs that are on the appetizer menu. I'm not a big fan of duck, so I didn't partake, but they do recommend it. That same day, after we got done with lunch, we went to the Blowing Rock attraction. So this is the rock formation that the town gets its name from, and there's this cool story, a uh, legend that that the name comes from and tells you the story behind it, which is pretty neat. So the attraction itself does have an admission fee. Um, it was about six or seven dollars a person for adults. And they do have military and senior discounts. Also, they have group rates. The website listed three and under as being free. But when we were there, my son, who was four at the time, uh, still was able to get in free. So plan on either three or four if you have young kids and also always you can call ahead. So the attraction itself is very cool. There's a little gift shop that you go into to purchase your tickets and then you head out. There's a little walking trail that's very kid friendly. It's not too long, but it is very beautiful. You get to see the overlook. There's a koi pond and a turtle pond. So it's very neat. There's the, the overlook, the view is amazing. It's, it's worth it to go just for the view, and I really appreciated that. Along the way, there's a kind of a little snack bar place that has a, another gift shop attached, and the, <laughs> the bottled water there was ridiculously overpriced, so don't go thirsty, bring your own water. Uh, I really don't know why they do that, but that's really my only complaint about the Blowing Rock attraction itself was a ridiculously priced water. So the second restaurant that we visited when we were there was the Ridgeline. Now the Ridgeline is really popular because it has an absolutely amazing view outside the restaurant, the, the mountains, the, the view is incredible. Now there is outdoor seating, but there is not, there's no umbrellas over the seating. So when we were outside, it really did get pretty hot. So if you burn easily, you're gonna to wanna to sit inside. If you get hot easily, you're going to want to sit inside. But I'll tell you the biggest reason to sit inside and forego the view is if you go on Sunday for Sunday brunch, which is what we did, they have a jazz band and they were absolutely amazing. The, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I should have demanded that we go back inside and get a table where we could listen to the band because they were truly exceptional and totally made it worth it. Now, the food was good. I ha it was it was brunch. I think I had an omelet, and we ordered some appetizers. And the food was good, but the really the thing that would make me go back is that jazz band. They were phenomenal. 
So the other thing that we did when we were there is we visited Docks, Rocks, Gem Shop, and Fossil Museum. So this place is right off the highway. It's a total tourist trap, but it is really the best tourist trap ever. So we went there. They have got some some live model, uh, live <laughs> life ish size <laughs> models of dinosaurs. So you know they're probably not accurate to scale. Probably considering the T Rex is probably a little bit bigger than me, but they're kind of interdispersed around there. These dinosaur statues, which is kind of cool, but the, the main attraction there is the gem mining. So you don't actually pick up a, a pick and go into a mine. They, you can buy a container filled with silt and gems, and then you go through and you sift them yourself. So we bought a five gallon bucket of stuff that they dug out of the mine and you go out to an outdoor area that has running water, and then you sift the sift the silt and keep whatever you find. So we actually did find some pretty cool stuff when we were there. We found lots of quartz, lots of amethyst, a gem called citrine, I believe it was. Um, we actually found several garnets, rubies, a sapphire. So it was actually really neat, um, and my five-year-old son thoroughly enjoyed himself. So, especially if you have, oh my goodness, Kitty, what is the problem? I'm trying to shoot a video. No. Really? So, Doc's Rock Shop is open seven days a week, which is pretty neat. We went on a Sunday afternoon. It was lots of fun. After you get done sifting through your bucket, you go inside and wait in line for a gem expert. Well, I think they're knowledgeable. I don't know that they're necessarily experts. We did have some disagreement with some of the things that, how they classified some of our findings, but they put them on this mat with the name of the gems. And so you can see all of the treasures that you found in your bucket. So that was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Uh, highly, highly, highly recommended for children. It was great. So after that, in the same little area, uh, which they also have a little coffee shop there too, which was cool, um, but you go up and around and there's a fossil museum, it's called the Appalachian Fossil Museum, and it's really small, but I would say it's small but mighty. So admission, I think, was six, $6 a person, which I, at first I was kind of like, maybe that's a lot because this place is really small, but you do get a guided tour by a knowledgeable guide. Uh, he was our, our guide, Jack. He was able to answer all of our questions and being with a little boy who was four, almost five, you can imagine how many questions there were. So he was very accommodating and tolerant of my son's many, many questions and was able to answer some of ours as well. They have a lot of neat things there. In addition to the real fossils, they have some replicas and they had a, a replica of a skull of a dinosaur called the Appalach Appalachosaurus, which I'd never heard of before, probably because they have only ever found one skeleton, one fossilized skeleton of this particular dinosaur, which I thought was pretty fascinating. So it was definitely worth our while to stop there. We had a lot of fun, learned a little bit. They've got a little gift shop there in the fossil museum of course that had both fun and educational toys that you can take away and remember your trip there so again it was, was uh, blowing rock north carolina that we visited had a lot of fun if you're thinking about going there i highly recommend making this a stop on your trip so i will leave links in the description below of all of the places that we visited i hope that if you go you enjoy it and if you do please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought so if you found value in this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already done so hit the little red subscribe button and hit the little notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video bye